Hey everybody, if you're new, welcome. And if not, welcome back. I'm in a new setting. I have on a head wrap, mascara, and lip balm, and that is it because it has been an intense past few weeks. It has been a very busy past few weeks and I am coming up out of a fibro flare. So everything has just kind of been switched up a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm in a new setting. Normally I film at my vanity in my bedroom, but my daughter is asleep across my bed and I didn't want to wake her. So here I am filming in my living room, great room, I guess, because it has a very high ceiling. Um, so in any case, I hope you all have been doing well. I certainly hope you've been doing better than I have. Today's gonna be just a really laid back, chatty video. I'll catch you up on life a little bit and show you some things that I'll be reviewing in a couple of weeks as well as my new glasses because I never wear glasses to film. I always go no glasses and contacts or no glasses and no contacts. So let's start with that. I'll show you my glasses first. I got a pair from Prada and the other one is from, I think it's Marchand. Yeah, it's Très Jolie by Marchand. I'll wear those first. And so these are the glasses. And it's so funny because when I wear glasses, all I can think to myself and I can see my phone, which I'm filming on in my reflection. But when I wear glasses, all I can think to myself is that I look so much like my mother and my paternal grandmother just kind of mashed up. I love it. Um, but these are the first pair, which I really like. I usually don't do the wire at the bottom situation. Um, I usually do like a full frame. I should have brought my regular glasses that I wear ordinarily, but these are the new glasses. We're talking about new glasses right now. So those are the Marchand ones. Love those. The frame is, like I said, it's wire at the bottom, but it's purple up here. But it's a really nice muted bronzed up purple, I guess you could say. So it's not, um, it doesn't look childish. It looks very mature. I love it. And these were the first pair that I picked when I went to the eye doctor, which I absolutely love by Prada. And there they are. These have brown at the top. Um, I believe one of these have transition lenses. I can't remember because they're telling you all the things. It's on my receipt. They're telling you all the things and I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, no. Um, I think they are both scratch resistant. I don't have um, poor, very poor vision, but you know, I could use the help. So here are those glasses, which when I showed them to my mom, she said I look just like my paternal grandmother. And she's right, I do. <laughs> but I love them. Um, but you can see my glasses. Um, will I wear them for the rest of this video? Um, yeah, I think I will because I like them. And I love the way they fit on my face, which is really, really nice. Um, most humans have slight asymmetry. Sometimes, you know, a lot of asymmetry, but most humans have slight asymmetry in their faces. So when I wear glasses, I'm always looking to see if they are straight on my face or if my face just kind of jacks them up like this a little bit. And these don't seem to. Though when I look at this um, to review it, I might decide, oh yeah, they are kind of jacked on my face. So we'll see. Anyway, let's talk about life. Let's show you some of the things I'm going to be reviewing. I just unzipped my last ipsy bag so i as you all know i loved the bean box and i was heartbroken when they stopped doing the bean boxes so i had to get a different subscription service and i decided to go with ipsy because it's easy you know they have different price points they have different things you know and they've been around a long time so i felt pretty good about that so i went with ipsy I've gotten three bags so far, and I have reviewed out of my, was that my last bag? I think it was my last bag. I got a perfume by Juliet Has a Gun, and I reviewed that perfume. I'm pretty sure I've posted it. I think, yeah, I think I've posted that video. I will link that overhead. If it's posted, you'll see it here. Um, and I have other things from them that I'm curious about because there are so many companies that they work with because they're such a large subscription service. They have so many companies on their roster. 
a lot of these things I've never tried, never even heard of the companies. So I'm gonna show you a couple that I plan on reviewing. This one is Trifle Cosmetics, which I have heard of Trifle, but um, I've never tried any of their items. This is their eye, well, I guess I should have held it up longer than a second, right? Eye candy. So it's pigmented eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow duo, according to this. And it'd be great if I could get it out of the box. That would be amazing. But I kind of like that it is nice and snug in here. Um, it is a cruelty-free and vegan company. So that's always nice. And that is the duo. The color combination is Sorbet. It's got pink and purple. So those are colors I wear. So that's great. Um, that's very pretty. What I noticed is that pretty much every Ipsy bag has had eyeshadows. And I love eyeshadows. They're a lot of fun. But you never hit pan if you have new eyeshadows coming constantly. So anyway, another eyeshadow palette from one of these Ipsy bags from the past three months. This is by Luna Magic. I've never heard of this company. Another eyeshadow duo. And this is Friend and Monaco. I'm not sure which color is which but it's a navy and a mauve. Actually, I could open up both of these so that you can kind of see them without the plastic casing. Um, I'll show you Luna Magics first. So that's kind of pretty. This is very cool and this is very warm. So it's interesting that they put them together. I won't say very warm. This leans toward warm. It looks a lot more orange on camera than it does in person. It's definitely a mauve. And this is a nice, um, I said navy, somewhere between navy and cobalt very pretty blue. That is the color I would absolutely rim my eyes in. Certainly, because I'm wearing it right now, it is a color that I prefer. I'll go back to that one by Trifle Cosmetics too. Um, the color combination being Sorbet, and that's your pink and your purple. Very pretty. I guess you could say violet. Lavender, violet, one or the other. Very pretty though. So I'll review those. Um, the next thing is a highlighter by Formula Z. Again, another company I'd never heard of. The name of the color is I'm Talented. I like to think I am. I think that's a really pretty highlighter shade. I haven't used this at all yet, which is why opening it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I was anticipating a fight. Look at that. That's really pretty. It's a nice, um, it's a soft gold. It's not uh super bright or um shocking looking this looks like a color that looks very warm and soft so i like it so yeah i'll be reviewing that as well and also in this bag is this is a cleanser i won't be reviewing this because cleansers don't make a lot of difference for me this is by first aid beauty cleansers are not a big thing i also got um Fenty Beauty's cleanser, which I've used before, so I won't be reviewing that. Um, I've never reviewed it, but it's a cleanser again. So the total, I think the name of it is Total Cleanser by Fenty Beauty. Yeah, I won't be reviewing the cleansers that have come in these bags, but I will, mm, will I review this? Um, I'll review this for sure. This is Gold Faden, Gold Fodden MD. Gold Faden MD, I guess. It's the Plant Profusion Supreme Serum. I love a serum. You all know, I'll put up the link here. I had a bunch of stuff that I got from the company. What's the name of it? Mm, the one that did the niacinamide that I really love. The name is escaping me, but I do like the company. Good Molecules, it's back. Good Molecules, I got a bunch of stuff from them not very long ago that I'll be going through. Once I get through the bulk of that and I have a pretty good opinion form, then I'll dive into this. Um, but I don't want to use this while I'm using all the Good Molecules stuff and trying to figure out what is giving me a certain effect, right? So um, I was thinking I might do a review on this uh, Ultra Rich ultra rich lip balm by Clark's Botanicals but honestly I probably won't um I generally don't review just lip balms and lip glosses and that kind of thing so I'll probably skip that um and I'll probably skip this one too this is a lip pencil I do believe yes the cashmere lip pencil in mocha it's by the company vintage by Jessica Leipskind Leipskind 
I can't say it, but I think it's leap skinned. Um, but it's sealed up, so I can't just pop the top off. I'd have to undo everything. But it's a nice neutral shade, as you can see. It looks like something that, based on the color in the wrapper, which is really hard to see, it is about this shade. It's a nice neutral that I could wear on my complexion with no issue. So yeah, we got a couple of eyeshadows. I might put the eyeshadows all in one video, maybe. Um, I'm not swatching anything today. So when I do um, decide to do the video, I'll probably put both of them and maybe compare since they both came from the um, Ipsy bags and see which one I like better. And the highlighter, maybe I will grab another highlighter or two and compare. I don't like to do just one product. I like to compare a little bit to see which one gives me the best look, the best bang for my buck and all of that because I don't know what these cost and I won't be putting the prices in this video because it's not a review video. So um, if you're interested in them though, I will put the names of the products and you can check them out on your own. But um, I won't be doing all the research that will go into the videos comparing them and actually testing them. So um, I told you this would be a chatty video. I looked at my analytics. I don't watch them hard. I thank each and every one of you who subscribed. I love you all, appreciate your support, and I hope that I can continue creating content that you enjoy. Um, but I did look at the analytics just to see what's popular, what people like, and I'm really, really fortunate that what people like to watch is what I most like to create. So in the past month, my most popular video, funny enough, is not a review video. It's a Fibro Friday video talking about the Sour Sop Tea. That Sour Sop Tea video has done really good numbers for it just to be an herbal video. Just me saying, hey, this helps me sleep. I didn't know y'all were sleeping so bad. I mean, you're in good company because I sleep terribly if I don't drink that tea or some other blends. If I don't have my regular routine down, my sleep is trash. But I had, I had no idea that you all were sleeping just as poorly as I am. So um, thank you for showing me that it's not just me, that it's you too. And I will continue to try to make things like that. You all seem to really like comparing the perfumes. When I compare two of the clean perfumes, you all really like that video. And you really like the luxury unboxings. I love those too. Um, but I'm kind of reeling in my spending because even though I got a really good raise at the beginning of the year, like every other federal employee, even though I got a good raise at the beginning of the year, I still want to be wise. You know, my daughter's getting older. She likes activities. I want to do some traveling this summer, which will create way better content for this station or this channel than what I've currently got. You know, travel content is great. It's my favorite thing to create, but I'm not always traveling. So there's that. Um, but I am really, really excited to, I'm trying to make sure I avoid getting too much light. Mm, unless I hold my head down like this, which is fine. Um, but then you can't see my head wrap. Sorry guys, this is, this is not what I planned, but you know, such is life, it's chatty, whatever. Um, or I could just take them off, like that could be it. Yeah, that works too, right? Okay, so like I was saying, um, um, you know, not doing a ton of luxury purchases. I do have one luxury video coming, um, but I can make room for luxury purchases in my budget if I continue to downsize on the other things that really don't matter that much. Um, like, you know, ordering Uber Eats and Grubhub. That probably would free up a ton of luxury budget. And I would enjoy the things I purchase far more than the meal that I'm eating. So that just means I need to cook more, right? Because I just don't want to dip into my savings, my really good savings habits that I've got going. I don't want to dip into that to buy a luxury good just for a video. You know, like th that's not what I want to do at this point. You know, at some point, sure. But right now, 
I'm, you know, saving up for travel. I'm saving up to go some places. I promised my daughter we would do a good bit of traveling this summer. So I got to buy tickets. I got to buy tickets. I got to, you know, look into lodging and travel visas, depending on where we go. If we return to some of the places that I like to go, then that'll require some visas. And, you know, you just budget, you know, and I have to renew her passport this year. Um, so, you know, some places you can't go to them unless your passport has at least six months on it. So since hers runs out later this year, I need to have it renewed this spring to make sure that she has a wide enough window where she doesn't have to worry about that six month cutoff, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm planning, I'm strategizing and, you know, I'm in a good spot. Cannot lie. Other than this current flare that's still whipping me, I'm in a really good spot but I still have to be wise. So luxury stuff is coming. I won't be buying a ton of it just yet, but there is at least one luxury video coming and there will be more because I do love luxury stuff. I do. Um, I just have to stop eating out instead, eating out so much. I'm a good cook, so I could just cook instead, but I'd be tired sometimes. I just, anyway, um, but yes, so the luxury videos you all really like, the Fibro Friday videos tend to do pretty well, but especially the ones on the sleeping thing, y'all really, I, I pray for y'all sleeping mine too, because sleep is crucial and we are not getting enough of it as a culture in the West particularly, but all the way around, we're not getting enough sleep. So look out for more Fibro Friday videos. I'll give you all some more herbs to improve sleep to improve health. I'll continue to do that. Um, one of my subscribers recently, um, she said, you know, the importance of supplements. The supplements can be pricey and I totally agree. Supplements as far as pills, gummies, drops, whatever, they can get very expensive to manage your symptoms if you suffer from chronic illness. But what's really challenging is you spend a lot on these things and sometimes you still don't get a ton of relief, but I try to focus on things that I know have worked for me and I'll continue to share that with you all over here. Um, look for some of those videos coming pretty soon. And those videos, I'll do all of the, the makeup, the hair, the dressing and the light. It, it'll be great. But this video is just me talking to my friends and we can be comfortable, right? I think. So yeah, that's all that's going on me planning more videos, me actually looking at the analytics to see what you all enjoy and thinking of more things in that vein to serve you better. Because if I can help you all to live more happily, more comfortably, more easefully, then I've won, you know, I've won and hopefully you've won even more. So that's it for today. Please continue to take care of yourselves. Keep me posted on how life has been treating you all and I will talk to you all very soon. Actually, as in Friday, when I come back with some more fibro content for you. So take care. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.